Hi everyone. In this video I will show you how to create and customize modern shelves and cabinets with Pattern Engine for 3ds Max. If you're not familiar with Pattern Engine, please check the link in the description. Start by creating a rectangle of 3 by 3 meters, then click the Create button. Set the convex depth to 40 centimeters. Make sure that grid array is selected, then switch to size mode. Go to common settings. Disable backplate and enable grouts. Set the grouts depth to 2 cm and the minimum border to 1 cm. Enable outline mode and tweak the outline scale if needed. To solve the strange faces issue, go to common settings and set the convex boolean threshold to zero. Add an expression effect to outline mode to map the outline affecting areas. Set the x expression value to 0, 1, 0 or any other value according to your needs. This controls the effect along the x axis for each column. Add random effect on the top and tweak the max range. This will control outlined items percentage. Change the blending mode to blend it with the expression effect. Select screen mode and tweak the seed value. This will make a random effect that affects only the previously outlined items from the expression effect. This quick overview showcased the advantages of blending multiple effects. Now let's remove the random effect and return to our original shape. Set the slope value to 5 cm, then add an expression effect to it. Set the X expression value to 100, 0, 100. Set the slope angle value to 180 degrees, then add an expression effect to it. Set the Y expression value to 100, 0 and Y mask to 1. This will activate the Y expression. You can change the shelves count easily by changing the dimensions. All effects will be applied to the new count. Many other customizations can be applied. You can add effects to the scale of the items and control them as shown before. Also, you can tweak the corner radius value and map it with effects. Or flip XY to reverse the direction of the array. Another approach for controlling panel or shelf count and positions is to add effects to the item's count per row across the Y axis. This can be combined with other effects to create a variety of forms. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.